Biden admin withdraws troops from border amid new migrant spike. And y'all know I believe this is by design. This is not a coincidence. They have this spike on purpose and they're removing the troops so they can allow more um, illegal immigrants into this country. Um, again, this is a way to bring down the, the U.S. economy. I think this is on purpose. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store. Also, check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Despite a surge in migrant crossings, the Biden administration plans to withdraw troops from the southern border. This makes absolutely no sense unless you want the migrants, the illegal aliens in this country. An anonymous Defense Department official informed the Associated Press that by August 8th, the Pentagon will withdraw 1,100 troops from the border. In May, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin deployed these troops for a 90-day mission due to the increased numbers of migrants at the border following the expiration of Title 42, a pandemic-era rule that permitted officials to reject migrants. Austin has granted um, authorization for 400 troops to remain at the border until August 31st. Officials uh, state that the withdrawn troops provided uh, support for tasks like warehouse assistance and data entry, thereby relieving customs and borders uh, protection agents. This decision coincides with the rise in border crossings, particularly in Arizona, as reported by the Texas Tribune. They said uh, last month, U.S. agents made over 130,000 arrests along uh, the Mexico border, a primarily a prim um, preliminary figure that increased from 99,545 in June. In July, approximately 50,000 additional migrants were allowed to enter the United States, mainly through Biden administration programs that enable asylum seekers to schedule appointments at U.S. ports of entry using the CBP-1 mobile application. And um, this application has been criticized before. They say anyone basically can fill out this app. There's no background check and people can come in um, as they like. I mean, this is crazy that our government will make an application basically for illegal immigration. Um, where our main government charge is to protect our borders. They're not doing it. They're leaving it wide open. The spike in illegal crossings was most significant in the deserts of uh, southern Arizona, where U.S. agents made around 40,000 arrests in July. Uh, this represents the highest one-month total for the Tucson sector in 15 years based on CBP data. The news follows a report by the Washington Free Beacon revealing that the White House is uh, disregarding its own limits on asylum seekers, leading to an increased influx of migrants into this country. But um, let me know what you think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.